Hi everybody, it's Ernest from Back to Basics. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, as you can see today, it's the first weekend of spring. So with the first weekend of spring here, um, I'm going to be starting off my tomatoes today. And um, we're going to be doing those uh, basically the same way that I've done my peppers. So a quick little video on uh, getting those started off and we'll follow them uh, once I get them in the greenhouse later on in this year. And um, take care. Okay, this year I'm going to be sharing uh, how I start off tomatoes um, for the yard and uh, today this year we've got a good selection that I've uh, happened to come across uh, besides my traditional um, early pick hybrid tomatoes that I use uh, I've done these for three years now uh, we like these because I get some uh, off the vines in late June and early July so that's a nice pick um, I've been searching around for some more interesting varieties of tomatoes and I found some from uh, Heritage Harvest Seed. Uh, these are all a bunch of heirloom tomatoes of various types. Uh, we'll be doing some Black Crim, some Martino Roma, Ferris Wheel Tomato, Lambert's General Grant Tomatoes, and I'm going to be starting off some uh, gazanias for my wife uh, at the same time. So. Um, Let's just let's get started. Now you don't need to do anything fancy uh, starting off tomatoes or or flowers. This is just a um, a very inexpensive seed and cut cutting mix that I picked up at uh, the local home hardware. I've used this for two years now, and you know, for something that's as inexpensive, it's been absolutely wonderful. So just find yourself a nice seed and cutting mix. This is a peat based one. If you, remember, if you remember from me starting off my peppers earlier in the year, I used this new device that I purchased. I, I absolutely love this. I mean, you can see there's 49 spots here to do plants and in a basically an 8, 9 inch uh, square setting, you can get a lot of plants started off. So let's just uh, fill this up with soil and drop some seeds in. So I'll just... Uh, Spread this out evenly into all these holes. Okay, so now that I've had this uh, nicely spread out, uh, if you remember from my previous videos, I really went into more depth on what these um, plug trainers were like. You can see that this has some nice uh, cones on the top, and all you have to do with this is flip it over, place it over, Give it a firm press in, and you've got the perfect depth for um, planting your seeds. So, now, some people like to place uh, labels within their trays, but uh, I find the easiest way that I do, I have a legend that I create in a spreadsheet and uh, just Maps out my uh, container and that's what I'm going to be following for seeds and then this just stays with this. I've got four of these going now so this is the easiest way i found for doing that. So let's get these seeds in there. Okay so now all you got to do is take yourself a toothpick and just gently push these into each of the holes. You'll see how easy this is. And this way it's there. So now that those are done I'm just going to continue on with the remainder of these packages. And that's it for the rest of them. Everything's nicely planted in there. So the only other step left to doing this is now just to uh, cover up each of these seeds. So now we'll just take our spray gun and uh, just give this a nice thorough soaking. So as with any standard uh, propagator that you're going to be using, this does have holes on the bottom which we're going to allow, which will allow me to uh, add water to the bottom and also have a top just goes on top to keep everything nice and moist in this early stage if you're using a uh, propagator such as this 
it would be generally the same idea. You'd fill these up. You can see that there's holes in the bottom for here. Plant your seeds. Fill your tray with water to allow it to water from the bottom. Place your dome on and that's the same. So whatever method you're using will work the same. Now that we've got everything planted, uh, this is where I'm placing these units that I have. Um, they're going to remain here as these ones are. These two I've got actually on a heating mat just to help uh, speed the germination up a bit. And uh, these are under the T5 lights that I've used uh, for, the la for the last couple of years. So, you know, just to give you an idea of the scale, if you see fingertip to elbow, I've got two of these. Now that's a that's 98 plants, so I've got almost 200 plants started here, in a in a you know look uh, less than than one four foot um, T5 light. So uh, I can't say more about these. So that's it for today's video. Uh, just starting you off with uh, something a little different than peppers, and I will be following through with these. Um, over the next weeks and months. Uh, I'm hoping to get my greenhouse up in the next month or so. So these will all be moving outside there and you'll be able to follow along with them. Thanks again for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.